Hey guys, Jasmine here. Um, just wanted to report in on how things went for day one on the detox. Pretty normal. Things are feeling fine. I did what I was supposed to do this morning and then um, energy level was fine. I didn't change my eating habits and just kind of status quo. But a couple things I did notice was I was sneezing quite often today, which is not normal for me. Almost as if I had like an allergy. Um, and my sinus is cleared up really clean at one point, and then right now it's about 9 o'clock at night, and I'm noticing that I'm stuffy. Um, so anyways, that's all I really have for day one. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll have to keep tabs to see how I do with the sneezing and the stuffiness part. But other than that, nothing much to report. So day one down. We'll see what happens tomorrow. See you later, guys. Good night. Hey, good morning, everyone. I am headed into work, um, and I wanted to make a quick video. Don't worry, I have my hands free. So if it's cut off, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> but um, I wanted to give you an update on my detox. So I sound a little bit hoarse. Um, this is the update. I'm on day four, guys. Day four this morning. And something like just kind of like happened to me that I was tripping out about. So, day one was whatever. I, you know, took the liver, uh, I call it liver juice, <laughs> the liver juice. I took my char charcoal drink and whatever, nothing much happened. Um, I started sneezing throughout the day and I was like, okay, again, no big deal. Day two, Tuesday, was hell. <laughs> it was hell. I got really congested. I couldn't breathe uh, Tuesday night when I wanted to go to sleep. It was rough. I'm not even going to lie. I was like, what's going on? I felt like I was catching a cold, like a head cold. And I was sniffling a lot and sneezing. Um, day three, okay, yeah. And day two, by the way, I had to go um, and have dinner with hubby and, and his work stuff. So I was trying really hard to be awesome and happy but I was miserable but we made it through the night and um yeah whatever so yesterday Wednesday was day three and I woke up feeling better because I had taken extra pumps of the oil and just kind of just tried to relax and I didn't work out either so just kind of letting my body respond and I didn't want to keep adding you know stuff to my body um and agitating it so I work, didn't work out, and I felt better. Just kind of, you know, whatever. Felt better. Still was hoarse, um, but it was a, it was an okay day. Today's day four. Things are moving along, if you know what I mean, but not to the point where you're like running to the restroom or anything like that. It's very controlled and whatever. Um, and when I walked outside today for the first time, you know, to get in the car to head to work. Everything just seemed more vibrant and it just seemed like HD, you know, many of us remember how older TVs look like and then once we got our HD TVs, how that was a game changer for us and I'm driving to work and I'm like, at first I was like, okay, I'm outside in my front yard, everything looks beautiful, it looks green, but as I'm driving, I'm really noticing how awesome things look and how vibrant everything looks. It's just so crisper and clean, and you guys know I have, I wear glasses, I wear contacts, I have pretty shitty vision, to be honest with you, um, and everything just looks so much better, so I don't know what that means, I have no clue, you know, everyone releases their toxins in a different way, and I just wanted to share that little moment with you where, oh my gosh, everything looks vibrant, everything, the colors look awesome kind of trippy to be honest but hey I'm gonna roll with it and um, a lot of drainage happening that's part of the process I just gotta let it happen but as far as everything else is going this is pretty cool day to notice colors and notice um, things in a more vibrant manner so all right guys I'm here I will talk to you guys later just wanted to give you an update here's to day four have a good one bye Hey guys, so I am going to go ahead and finish up what happened with week one on the um, ultimate detox. So you saw day one and day three maybe. 
Um, and I kind of talked about, or maybe it was day four, you saw that I had kind of updated you on what happened Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so what happened towards the end of the week? So how the detox works is you're on it for five days and then you're off, it, off for two days. So came Friday, I did what I had to do. I felt better. Um, Saturday morning, Saturday and Sunday, I was off the detox, meaning I did not take any of the, um, the protocol. So I noticed Saturday morning when I woke up, I had lower back pain. Um, you know, I was kind of expecting that because that's our liver and our kidneys working to kind of get, get things going. Um, so that was completely normal. I also noticed that I did end up getting a rash on my legs. And again, for me, this is really normal when I'm, quote, sick. Because uh, many years ago when I had bronchitis and, and pneumonia, <laughs> I was getting rashes on my legs. Actually, a big part of why I um, ended up on CBD and hemp oil is because last year I was having my um, body's aches and pains and I was my body was responding with some rashes again. So over the course of learning about myself and how I work, um, doctors have told me that my towel is my skin. I get rashes and that tells me something's not right. Um, other people get fevers. I tend to get a rash. So anyways. I know that's my towel telling me something's up, you're pushing stuff out. Your body has um, toxins, it has an infection that it's trying to get out. So this weekend, I did get rash on my legs. I have a couple blotches and they don't itch, they don't bother me. I just know it's kind of the process. Things are getting released. So Saturday and Sunday, I kind of indulged a lot this weekend, had friends in town, went to the movies with some of my girlfriends. Um, I drank alcohol, and alcohol is not part of the protocol, obviously. They prefer that you eat clean. This week, I'm going to be completely straight with you guys. I did not eat clean. I did not eat super clean. I had a birthday for my sister-in-law. I had cake. Um, um, gosh, if I had a couple salads throughout the week, you know. So it wasn't a really clean um, week for me. Obviously, this weekend, I had a few cocktails. So... Was it the best week as far as eating habits were concerned? No, but I kept through the, through the protocol and I still feel like I got some really good results with it because I did push out those toxins from my sinuses on, you know, I was sick on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday was starting to feel better, Friday was feeling great, Saturday and Sunday I was, I was, I was fine as far as the head cold was concerned. Rash came out and I have a little bit on my legs, nothing too concerning. And Saturday and Sunday just kind of lounged around and didn't do the protocol. So that's the update for week one. Heading into week two, I think I'm going to stay at the same dosage that I'm currently at. Um, I'm feeling really good about it. I drink a lot of water anyway, so that's not a big issue for me. But I have noticed I'm going to the restroom more frequently. So again, another good sign that the same amount of water that I drink, which is a lot throughout the day, and I'm actually going to the restroom even more. Um, as far as number two is concerned, Things are moving along, um, and I guess another perk of all of this, I guess I should say, especially since I didn't have such a clean eating week, was I did end up losing three pounds. Again, this is not for weight loss. I'm not promoting this for weight loss. I'm promoting it for eliminating toxins from the body. Um, when we get our body in homeostasis, things, other positive things start happening, and you know, for many, many of us, weight loss could be somewhere where we're stuck, especially as we get older. So that's what my report is for week one. I'm going to be heading into week two. So thanks for watching this uh, full video. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I'm happy to answer them. So thanks so much, guys. Let's go into week two. I might change my dosage up. I'm not sure yet. So let's see what happens. All right. Have a good one, guys.